And, and that's why I think um, the Australian put the uh, structure. And APEC can play a role, and it can play a role now, because 2012 is just around the corner. Um, at the same time, APEC can provide um, um, ideas for, 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 for the international community on, on how to achieve energy security and energy efficiency. And that is the goal of the Australians anyway. They're trying to get a target for energy efficiency in, in terms of figure. Leaders around the world are under so much pressure to take leadership on climate change. Ordinary people understand that if we're going to solve this issue, it's not going to be by me changing my light bulbs alone. It's going to need government leadership. So they will have very serious talks about climate change. The big question is, will they keep moving towards Kyoto? Or will John Howard and George Bush's anti-Kyoto agenda win? Well, thanks, Antoine Ash, and uh, good morning. A growing movement of soldiers in 43 states in the US and on numerous bases over... Now it's being used to bamboozle us into believing that the Bush administration has any semblance of a constructive agenda to tackle climate change, when actually what it's about is trying to avoid the central principle of the Kyoto Treaty, uh, which is also identified as... Um, the starting point for any meaningful strategy by the peak body that everyone else accepts as authoritative, the uh, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, namely to bind themselves into binding emissions targets. You've been telling me how beautiful Sydney is, and now I now agree. I, uh, Laura sends her very best to you and Jeanette, and we congratulate you on, on like your grandfatherhood. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> あ、アメリカも大変熱心に最近取り組みを始めてきております。え、今度アメリカのイニシアティブでですね、9月下旬に州を各国の方々が集まって温暖化対策をワシントンでやると。ま、これなどは大変アメリカの大きな変化であろう